Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that everyone will be fine. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about jQuery, very important functions, which basically known as this, the set and the get content. So these are the very important functions that I want to discuss in this video. And this is again, the request from a lot of viewers and they want to have this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is to, um, I am using VS code as my text editor, whatever the IDE you want to use, no worries about that. And I created a file with the name of index.html and a very basic structure for the HTML. I just gave the um, header class with the head tag and the some very basic CSS. All right. So I'm using the live server. And if you want to down, install it, so you can easily download it from the extension. So simply go here and uh, you can download the live server from here. All right. So a uh, very basic thing I want to discuss with you, those who are very unaware about how to work with the jQuery, uh, which basically makes a lot of things easier. It's a it's a very small library for JavaScript. So in order to use that, you need to go to the code.jQuery.com and uh, grab the uncompressed version 3.4.1. Just grab the script tag and uh, paste it um, down to the body tags. And uh, once you do that, so the first thing we are always use that uh, we need to have our script tags to to write our jQuery uh, to write our script code, right? So we have to load the uh, the uh, document. So dollar document dot ready function. So uh, first, I want to explain you very basic things, not actually what we want to work, but first I want to give a very basic intro about it. So dollar document dot ready function. So in order to work with that, let's suppose if I give a p p tag of per paragraph and give some text lorem twenty, and uh, and also I'm using some click events. I'm I'm just want to explain you how it works. So let's suppose if I give it the uh, paragraph tag and here I have the button and give the um, id for btn one. Let's suppose and uh, that should be a button here and also I give it an even so dollar and I give the ID which is which is not as hash so btn1 remember that if you're using a class here we use a selector as a dot but in case for the ID we use hash so hash ID btn1 so I'm using an even which is a click even dot click and uh, once this button will be clicked so a callback or a function will be called and uh, let's suppose when once this function will be called and um, what I'm going to do is to is to fade that out. So let's suppose once this function will be called and uh, I want that the class for my but simply we are not using any class. So I'm using a, a P as an element and uh, I want to hide it. So I'm using a hide function as well, right? So once I click this, this paragraph text will be hide. So there you, I'm going to go to my browser and there you see, once I click on this button and now our paragraph text has been removed. All right. So this is a very basic thing that I'm going to explain to you. That's not the main goal. So just to make that zoom so you guys can see properly and, uh, Next, I'm going to do is to work with the set and the get content, which is a lot of requests. So first thing I'm going to do is to uh, ex to show you the difference. Like if I console the log, simply do log in the tab that want to write your console the log. And um, if I want to type here that um, uh, even though I do what I do is to uncomment this and uh, bring that console.log inside the click function or the click even and uh, here I'm going to write is um, even uh, before going to the console.log if I let's put this is clicked and uh, I have to open my dev tool so F12 press F12 or even you can right click on it and go to the inspect so once I click on the button you see that we have clicked it right so you see in the dev tool it's clicked but um, while going to doing that way, there is another very better way of doing it. So if I just simply remove that all and um, dollar function saves that and uh, where it goes. 
And if I just again go back to the browser, refresh this, and I, I refresh it and I click on the button now, the click works as well. So this is even a more better way of writing and that looks a lot better. And uh, now we uh, come to the point that uh, if I click to the, once we click this the console, that the, it, it shows console on the dev tools. And um, the main purpose of doing it all is to explain you about the difference. So next thing I'm gonna do is that to console.log. And I give the ID, let's suppose um, I create another P tag and give the ID of para2 and inside that I'm going to write some text as well. So let's suppose I write here, I am programmer and as well as I add some anchor tag let's suppose http colon double slash google.com and um, next uh, i think so that's all good and uh, inside that i want to give the id as well so i gave the id of web and uh, let's see if i want to if i want to get the content from it so it's very simple all i'm gonna do is to um, simply if i want to have only the text inside this paragraph so what i'm going to do we have an id of para2 so it's very simple so what i'm going to do is to use the selector with the dollar sign and uh, inside that we have the id which is para2 in that case and uh, we're using the function which is um, which is dot text and actually what i'm going to do is to give it the variable with the name of of test and um, if I just simply console the log test and now if you go back to your dev tools click the button and it's showing nothing um, let's see why yeah because I haven't put the hash for the ID and now if I go back to my Chrome browser and now you see whatever the text we have inside our paragraph we can easily get it from there so um, let's suppose if I want to show you another this is the text and now if I want to grab the HTML let's suppose um, variable text equal to dollar now what is the difference between that so dot HTML and uh, I'm gonna comment this out the top one and let's suppose if I want to grab the HTML and notice you see if I click on the button you see now we also have the tags and the whole um, everything which is inside the paragraph tag we can easily uh, we easily get it so in order to if I want to achieve if, uh, only the the um, um, HTML so so basically HTML uh, gives you, you can easily get all the content from it. But in case of the text, you see that it only gives you the text file. But what if I want to have this anchor tag, this href? So it's very simple. All I'm going to do is to um, add another function, which is the ATTR, which is attributes. So variable test equal to dollar and uh, <clears throat> para2 dot a double t r and the id which i gave here you see we have the id with the web so i'm gonna put that inside it um actually not the id here it should be here so the id is web and uh, and this is basically the attr the attribute is href because we want the link only so I'm going to put here href and uh, if I go back and ref even I don't need to refresh because we are using live server. So it's showing me undefined and uh, why it's giving me undefined. Yeah, I believe I think so I put here capital W, but if I go back and click button and now you see we have only the href. All right. So that's cool.
so next we have uh, other attributes like um, I want to show you something more interesting now if I want to set the content here so for this I'm going to is to create another button here so I simply create another button and ID for BTN and this should be button 2 all right so very similar to that so I'm gonna create the um, I gave the ID which is now BTN2 and once this clicked so we have our click event and inside that um, keep remember that we are BTN2 that's fine bring hash here for the ID and uh, we are gonna set the content so to set the content what I'm gonna do is to give an ID let's suppose it should be um, um, para2 so I'm gonna create another paragraph element so I give it the ID of para2 and that should be empty for now so para2 and I'm gonna use here the dot text as a function for jQuery and AB nation programmers let's suppose and I give some um, h3 for my heading so here I'm writing here hello world let's post and now let's check that out how it looks so once I click on the button to you know you notice you see that we have h3 elements rather we should have these this as a heading we have also have our tags inside the DOM so in order to um, in order to set that and that h3 work as in heading so all we need to do is to use here the dot html so rather we using dot text i'm going to use here dot html and now if i go back and i just comment this out go back and refresh this and once i click on the button two and now you see now it, it's it's now working as a heading h h3 rather we should have our tags inside the dom all right so this is how we can set the content a very basic example for this and the last thing i'm going to show is that what well functions do so on the top i'm going to create the input field here input type equal to text and um, i'm given id as an as a email and value equal to ab nation double five three at gmail.com and uh, down here um, I'm gonna create another button so I give an ID btn3 and uh, use dot click function and here inside that i use an id which is email and for instance i give here dot fail is as a john doe at the rate gmail.com let's suppose and see how it's going to work so all i'm going to do is to create another button with the name of button 3 and the id should be btn3 all right that looks fine to me and now you see that if i see my input field it's for now it's abnation double five three at the rate gmail.com that's the email which has been inside our input field as a value and once i click on the button three and now you see the well functions we drag and now we have our value of the which we are using from the well function inside the jQuery. so that's it and i hope you guys enjoy there are a lot of other functions that are that's inside the jquery i have a course inside my youtube channel as well and but this is a very old course so i just updated a bit and if you guys really enjoy it and if you if you give me a lot of um, requests to make more videos regarding to that so i might proceed and work for a crash course but for now I hope you guys will enjoy so please leave a like if you really enjoyed it so i want to see you in the next part